Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I have something new that I am going to try out and see if it works. Is I have subscribed to three boxes of Upcrate, which is a German art box. Now, I live in Canada and I, I took a look at all the, uh, all the art boxes that I could find and I pretty much have tried them all before. There's one from England and then the rest are all from uh, in the United States and then this one in Germany and I checked them all out to see which one would be cheapest for me to get a three month subscription and this one won out by far. So yeah, instead of getting a box from the US which is right beside me, it's cheaper to get a box from Germany which is like across well, not across the world, but across the ocean for sure. So um, what I'm going to do is open this. We'll go through the materials and hopefully I will have gotten something that works for coloring and I will color a page with the material, using only the materials which I get here. So I haven't opened this. I don't know anything about it. The only thing is, is that this sticker has come open. So let's figure out which way the box opens. Okay, so I need to tear this off. And then I need to keep it down because my address is on that side and I didn't black it out. So hopefully, yeah, so it does open this way. But look at that. That's cute. It has a little key. <laughs> oh boy, so we don't get to see anything. Okay, so let's take out the papers. Now this comes with a zine. And, oh... Yeah, it does right here. It's called the Battle Post, which gives you information about your uh, product. So I'm not going to look at that, so don't get any surprises. And the first thing that we get is a mixed media sketchbook. So that means we're going to have some mixed media in here, which is good. It seems like once a year, the art boxes will do a sketching kit. And that's the one that you can't really use for coloring because all it is is a whole bunch of pencils. So... Anyways, that's not this. So, on your marks, set, draw. Well, let's hope it's get set. Color. Okay, so. Let's put this to the side. Now, put it that way so I can't see anything myself. And let's keep this here. And then, put the paper off, okay box or something. Oh, there's a bunch of, bunch of loose items. All right, well, let's go for it. Hey, you might be able to see that there. All right, well, let's pick up one of the loose items. Okay, so this is an Amsterdam acrylic marker, and I've had these before. Is that what this one is? Yeah, right here, I have one in primary yellow. This looks like it's pink. Light rose. Ooh. So we will try these all out on the first page of the sketchbook one when we come to them. Okay, so good first item. Let's take a look at the second item. Okay, it's an Amsterdam paint mark acrylic marker and a turquoise green and these both have different size nibs. So let's just take a look and see what we've got. So these are by Royal Talons and made in Germany. They're opaque. And this is a two millimeter round nib. So that's a decent size. So this one's probably gonna be like five, oh, four millimeter round. Whoa. Okay, let's open up our box and see what's in the little box. Ooh, Brunzeal. Six color fine liners brush pens. Ooh. Well, these are, hey, this, this is a great first box for a colorist. Look at all the color that I have. And it looks like it's all kind of like muted colors because those are pastels. And these looks like it has some gorgeous colors in it. So Brun Zeal, I think, is a Netherlands company. Let's see. Netherlands. Oh, that says it's by Royal Talons as well. Okay, so these are artists, free use by artists. It's 
says 14 plus. So, obviously, well, let's take a look at a pretty color. So, it just says this is the brush and this is the fine. So I wonder how much nicer these are than those Chinese Amazon ones that everybody has. Okay, the tip is really nice. I, I don't know if that's going to even show up, but yeah, it looks like it has a really nice tip. And the brush. Okay. Okay, so it's quite a, it's quite a stiff brush with a little bit of a bend on the tip. Okay, well I'm feeling good, and then there's and there's more. There's like more, more. So we got a Kohenor Hardmouth Poly Poly Color, number one seventy six. Now I have a set of twenty four of these, so we'll see if I get new colors or not. But I'll check those afterwards. So there's probably a few more of those in here. What's this? Okay, so we got another. Is this exactly the same? Oh no, this is Skylight Blue. It looks the same as this one, but it's not because this one's turquoise green and this one is Skylight Blue, but this is the two millimeter size as well. So, so far everything goes together there except for maybe the red. So this is another Koh-i-Noor Polycolor, number 57, and these are made in the Czech Republic. Oh, and this has a color name on it. Oh, so that's probably what they're doing with the new ones. But problem is that the color name is up here, so you're not going to get to to uh, sharpen it for very long until your name num your your name is gone and the numbers up here too. Should be down here. It's plenty of room. This says this is obviously a new newer newer stock pencil than this one. They're both from the 3800 series, okay? So a mountain blue and a red. And there's, there's a couple more things. There's still a few things left in here. Okay, so now we've got a chromium orange. Look at this. Look at everything we get in here. Okay, so we get a green color, a light olive green. This one, am I sure this one doesn't have? Yeah, that one, just the red doesn't have a color name on it. Oh, another paint marker. So this is the two millimeter again, and this is Naples Yellow Deep. And feels like three things left. Another paint marker. Oh, this one's different. This is a Graph Master acrylic paint, one millimeter, bullet tip in Deep Scarlet Red, R18, and this is by Clemens Rusin, oh, Graph Master, which is by Clemens Rusin, which is in Germany. That's cool about this, is that you get European stuff. Okay, so now we've got a bluish pink, and finally, the last item is a French pink of the uh, pencils. So that's pretty awesome. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh yes, we did. This looks like it's a spare nib. Well, let's just make sure there aren't any more of those in here. Okay, so this is a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to prime all the all the uh, paint pens which is going to be a nice collection to my paint pen collection I'll tell you and then we'll try everything out take a look at the colors and I can color anything with this because I've got a set of pencils and I can use the paint pens and the fine line liners so I can get a really nice page done with these. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go um, prime all of these. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm done priming. So I'll just tell you a couple of things that I learned about the difference between the Graph Master and the Amsterdam uh, markers, uh, just by priming them. the The paint is thicker 
in the graph master. It took a long, long time for it to come down and was shaking. That means that the paint is thick, which is good. Um, this isn't runny by any means, just, just this is thicker. Um, the, this one primes a lot easier, like it has a smoother in and out motion. Well, this one isn't as smooth as that. This, though, has a see-through, uh, I don't know what we want to call this, nib or whatever it's called. Um, so you can see the paint coming down, so it doesn't make you get all <laughs> anxious as you wait for it to come down and impatient. So this one you have to wait until it starts, you can't see it coming down from the barrel. So... Um, one thing I want to tell you, though, is don't pump your paint markers, and this especially is so for the Poscas, um, is don't pump it like that. What you're doing is you're putting air into there, and you will flood it, just like flooding a car. I don't know if new cars get flooded, but they used to when you would um, give them too much gas when they were not starting well, I guess. I don't know. I don't drive. I don't know anything about cars. But you can flood it, and then you're going to have problems with your pen, and they may not even work after they've been flooded. So don't go crazy with pumping up and down. Um, some of them are really easy, and you can just pump and hold, and it's see-through, and you can watch, and, you know, just give it maybe three pumps. Uh, these ones did need, did need a bit of um, repeated pumping, so that's what I've learned just from priming those. So since I've been talking about them, let's use those, but I'm going to use the um, Brunzeal. I think I think that's what, how I'm going to pronounce it, and someone can tell me if I'm different, if it's different. So I'm going to use the fine liner edge, and does it post? Should do. Oh, no, it goes in there, but it doesn't stay. Let's see, try the other side. Ah, there we go. So it posts. Yay! So let's start with the paint markers. So we're going to do the Amsterdam. Ooh, this is nice, and this isn't black, it's brown. Do they, do they, these don't have names or numbers on them. Hmm, I wonder if it tells me what colors they are on the back. Fine liners, brush pen, in Venice inspired colors. Okay, so this, this box is called In Venice. Perfect for urban sketching, hand lettering, bullet journaling, brush lettering, and drawing. Dual point brush tip for thick and thinner lines. 0.4 millimeter durable fiber nib, water-based ink, gluten-free. <laughs> hey, you can eat them if you if you have to have a gluten-free diet. That always makes <laughs> that makes me laugh. So that is definitely a brown. If it's it, no, it's not. It's not black at all. Okay, so let's go with that Amsterdam. So this one is turquoise grease, turquoise green. I'll just write it like that. And let's try what the color looks like. Very nice. So let's do the one that looks similar to it beside it. Sky blue light. Oh yeah, they don't look alike at all when you have them on paper. That is definitely a light blue, a sky blue. So we have light row. Oh no, let's finish with the other one millimeter, two millimeter nibs. This is Naples Yellow Deep. And I'm enjoying writing with the fine liner. Look at that, each one gets a little longer. Okay, so that's definitely a um, pastel yellow. And then finally we have the larger one which is, I got paint on it there, there we go, light rose. See how this writes really nice, the, that fine tip end is great for, okay, so that fills in your space a lot faster. That's a four millimeter. All right, so let's try the uh, Graph Master. Let's see Amsterdam. Let's go with, let's do it down here, same thing. Graph Master. And this is Deep Scarlet Red. Oh, 
Okay, so this one right here says it has an exchangeable tip. So that's what this is going to be for. So this has a, this is a rounded tip, and this one is a small, kind of like edging nib, a flat nib, or is that pointed? Is there some? Is that? The, no, that's not the nib. That's the nib. So I'm only going to try the one that's in there. I don't want to have to prime the second. Okay, i got to say those flow nicer even though... Yeah, that's because this is thicker. That's because this is thicker paint. See? I just gave it a couple of pumps there. But to bring the paint down, it's better to shake it instead of pumping it for more paint. So this one probably needs to be shaken quite a lot. There, it's it's going to need a bit more shaking and then it'll come out easier, but that most definitely a thick paint. So let's just put that over there. I'm going to lose that before the day is done, I'll tell you. All right, so let's do the brush, uh, the Brunzeal fine liner brush pens. Okay, so let's write that up here. So they're by Brun... B-R-U... Oh, I spelled it wrong already. U Y Brun Zeal Fine Liner Brush. Okay. So I'm just going to call, I'm just, these don't have any names and they don't have any numbers, so if you want them named and numbered, you'll have to do that yourself. So I'm just going to call this brown. Hmm. Nice. It's a hard, it's a hard brush, but it, it, it works nicely. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep this one. So let's go, let's call this light blue. That's probably more of an aqua. No, more like a sky blue. They, yeah, they work nice. That was really nice. That was almost like a, like a Tombow. Okay, so let's call this a turquoise. Fine liners are very fine, so they're only going to work for coloring in the smallest of spaces. Otherwise, you can get pretty, say so you can get pretty different size lines, you know, and anywhere in between there. Okay, so this one is more like an aubergine but I won't be fancy. I'll just call it maroon. What a maroon. My dad used to say that all the time. Who says that? Can somebody answer that without Googling it? Just coloring because I like seeing how they color better than how they draw. Okay, so we got peach. Just let me write these two names down then I can cap this up. So we have peach and let's call that other one rose. And I just want to try capping or posting the top end. Let's see how that works. So how does this post? Ah, okay. So yes, they post on both ends. One's an innie and one's an outie for the difference. So there's peach. Very light. Man, these are going to be like the Tombos and won't, um, won't streak as much, especially if you do your coloring in lines like I'm doing here. So, very nice colors in Venice. I don't think, oh yeah, here it is. It, it says it right here, Venice edition. Well, it's too bad they don't name the colors. Well, let's call, let's write that down too. Might want to check and see what other ones are available, what the price of these packs are compared to the Tombow. Venice edition. 
might want to see what these are compared to Dombos. They might not be less expensive though since for us here in North America they're imports. They are probably cheaper in Germany than the Tombos. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, I guess I need this out. Let's take a look at the Koinor Polycolors. I'm not going to say the Hardmouth. That's the type of wood that's used, and they write that on all their pencils pretty much. So I'm just going to write the, whoops, wrong end. Send. Okay, so these are Ko E. Noor. Somebody can let me know if I say that wrong. I really like to say words correctly. Polycolor. So that means that it is an oil-based. Poly means many, so many colors. Basically, if you have anything that's called a poly something, it means it's oil-based. So this one is number, hmm. And this is very interesting because this calls itself number 352 on here. But then, if we look at the new information that they've put on these, it's number 230. So I don't know which number to use. Maybe if I use both. So it's 352 or 230. And it's bluish pink. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Not going to sharpen these. Yeah, so I know these are nice pens sorry, pencils. I've, uh, oh, I guess I should have done dark to light. Let's do it over here. Okay, next one is number 63 slash 250. I wonder if these are the numbers for the new 144 set. So this is light olive green. And I can tell you that some of these are different colors than what I already have. Okay, so that's how it colors nicely. And let's do... Next one is number six. Oh, is that 57 or 67? Yeah, 57. I uh, better write down here now. I wrote that too close. 57 or 50. Weird. Mountain blue. I like the looks of this too. I like blues and greens, and I didn't know that until I started coloring. When I was doing um, mixed media art, is when I found out I liked turquoise and that's, you know, a color I used a lot, especially a combination of turquoise and red. But, um, it makes sense that I like turquoise since that's a combination of blue and green. And then it makes sense that I like blue and green because of that. So, this is number 131. I wonder if these, like, match. Like, if you, you like, I don't know which number you should go by. Oh, 51 French pink. I think you should write down what's written on the pencil for the new for the new information because uh, that's how you're going to order your new color. But um, uh, you're going to you're going to need this number here because it's going to last. Maybe they'll change them over. That's definitely something that they're going to have to do because they used to only have 72 of these and now they've made a second set of 72 so that there are a total of 144 uh, of these. So if you want to get the whole set, make sure you're getting the 144, which will consist of two 72 tins. And it's not like there's one 72 set tin and a second 72 set sin, s tin that's the new one. All the old colors are mixed up with the new colors. I don't have them, but I want them, and I've heard people say that, so... That's my two cents worth. I love these. These are really nice. They color nicely, especially on nice paper. And this is this is nice paper. 
everything I've used works nice on it. I find fine liners are really nice on um, a, a toothy paper. So this is 42 down here or 389. That's chromium orange. Chromium orange. Always love me a bit of orange too. Goes nice with blue and turquoise. This one's got a broken tip. That's okay. It's only on one side. And our final one. So how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one doesn't have the new information on it. Not the color number anyway, so I'm not going to give it a color number. It's 170. It's got a new number. 116. And we'll just color it underneath. That's a nice red color, though. It's not true red but it's definitely not an orangey red like Scarlet or something. So there we go. Look at all those colors. Didn't, didn't I do fantastic for a first for a first box? Amazing. So one, two, three, four, five, five paint pens, a set of two, four, five, a set of six, one, two, three, four, five, oh yeah, okay, a set of six fine liner brush pens and six poly color, Koinor poly color pencils. Yay, I'm excited to color. So uh, I will see you back. Uh, so I ended up not filming this and I just went ahead and colored it and I managed to use every single item on here, um, some more than others, but I used every every pencil and every pen. I also managed to use both ends of the brush slash fine liner pens. Uh, I didn't use the fine liner on every pen, but I did on some, so I got to use both. And those fine liners are amazing to color with. They're the best ones. I've pro better than my Stabilo or Stettlers. They're, they're really nice uh, fine liners to color with. And, um, so yeah, we've got a uh, pencil. The pencil, the poly colors were not the best on this paper. Um, it slid around too much and they're also not the greatest pencils for straight coloring. So my pencil work is uh, <laughs> kind of shabby on here, but I didn't have any colors that I could blend together. So it was all straight coloring with them. And uh, the uh, paint pens were great. I ended up liking the uh, red graph master I believe it's called the the most it was the most opaque and as we did during the the um swatching we found out it was the thickest and it it just needed more shaking and it worked just fine um some of the paint markers the yellow and the the light pink and the yellow were not very opaque so they didn't had to go over the lines a couple of times and they still didn't cover up the black lines, but that looks decent enough. So I used a lot of the uh, the other ones for doing and covering up the black lines, especially the uh, the blue and the turquoise green. So yeah, I colored with the paint pens as well, and um, yeah, that's the three items that I got. So yeah, so this is my finished page, double spread in ivy and the inky butterfly. So this is a page I wasn't looking forward to because it was going to take me, and it was going to take me a long time coloring this sort of thing. Ended up having a blast using these supplies, and it didn't take me very long at all. Just uh, three days because I worked on it, did a section, and then I went on and colored other stuff. So over three days I did, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right, three days. So I, I did most of this page, and then I worked on finishing up this and starting this, and then I finished this. So that was my three days. And there you go. So I had a lot of fun with my first box of Upcrate, and I am really looking forward to the next one and hope that uh, I enjoy it. Uh, well, not even... <laughs> I think this is like an extra uh, good a box for a colorist. So I'm not going to expect it to be as good as this one, but I'm hoping I really enjoy it as well. So good luck so far with the box. So um, 
that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and coloring with the supplies uh, video and uh, let me know down below if you enjoyed it or you would rather I didn't do this sort of thing. So uh, in the meantime, have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching.